Welcome to Chuck Builds. I just purchased a Ryzen 7 9700X with a Gigabyte B650 gaming motherboard from Micro Center. Got a pretty good bundle deal on it. However, this motherboard does not support this processor out of the box. So this is the video where I'm gonna teach you what to do so we can set this up. Um, just to double check, we have our motherboard on the website here with the AMD Ryzen 7 9700X. We need to make sure that we have BIOS version F30 or newer installed. Um, to, in order to do so, we're going to first need a flash drive. And I have a 32 gig flash drive plugged in, but we need to make sure that it's FAT32. If you try to format a flash drive in Windows of this size, it might not give you a FAT32 option. It might just say FAT or it might not let you with other, other settings. So I would recommend that you get Rufus, which allows you to create bootable USBs. Um, we've used them in other videos on my channel and I like this tool, but we're gonna change the boot selection to non-bootable so that we don't have to give it a disk or ISO image to write to it. And then we'll choose our file system just as FAT32. You can name it whatever you want and then hit start. While that's running, we'll go to the Gigabyte website for our motherboard and go to the download section find the BIOS section, and then I'm just gonna get the latest version. Um, to support my processor, I need to get the F30 or newer version, but I'm just gonna get the F32E because that's the latest. I'll save it to my downloads, and then we'll go ahead and open up this zip. All right, so Rufus just finished writing to the USB drive, and now it's available to me in Windows. So I'll open this up. I'm just gonna delete what's inside of it. Now I'm gonna copy the contents of the zip we downloaded over to this flash drive. And I'm gonna rename the file that ends in F32E, which is the extension. We're gonna rename it to gigabyte.bin as so, and press enter. Now that we have the file renamed as gigabyte.bin, we should be ready to use this flash drive, but I need to remind you, do not put in the CPU when you do QFlash, it's not gonna work. You need to do this without the CPU, without the RAM, without PCIe, and without any kind of attached items. It's gonna be just the motherboard and power. So let's go do it. So I have my power supply plugged in and turned on. You can see the light over there. And then we have my flash drive in the port labeled BIOS, which we can see there. And now we'll press the Q flash button for a few seconds till it lights up. And we can see it's flashing. So we can see the LED blinking for the Q flash. This can take five to 10 minutes, so I'm not gonna record the whole thing. Um, let my phone cool off and I'll be back once it's done. So the motherboard turned off, the light turned off, and it's just like the computer turned off. Um, so I'm gonna turn off the power supply and remove the flash drive and continue building. Uh, do note that we have no CPU and no RAM.